The weather forecast with Nick Miller. I've got some high numbers, Ben. There is a lot of weather on the way this week. What we are going to get again is the remarkable 21.2 at Porth Maddock yesterday. That's the highest temperature the UK has recorded so late in the year. The temperature trend in Porth Maddock and indeed for the rest of us is a gradual come down through this week, closer to the average for the time of year. Just we haven't had that for a while. That's why it is going to feel quite different. Hello, good afternoon. It's been a very misty and murky day so far for many of us. You can see from this picture here, sent in from one of our weather watchers, you can just about make out the London eye there in the background. So it was a really foggy start this morning. I've got to ask you about that. Yes, it was. Look at this photo my husband took of uh, St Paul's. Oh, look! Oh, it's like something out of Mary Poppins or something like that. Isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? The weather's all over the place, Caroline. I hope you've got um, a decent umbrella. I haven't spoken about umbrellas with you. No. Interesting conversation. <laughs> have you got a good one? Have I have? <laughs> all right, well, make sure you bring it with you. Don't leave it at home like <laughs> I do. Have it in your hand, because tomorrow is going to be really grim. We've got loads of rain heading our way, particularly in the morning. Hello again. I hope you had a lovely day. The weather's all over the place at the moment. We've got some showery rain this evening and then overnight turning wet and windy. Rain tomorrow, particularly in the morning, heavy at times, turning into blustery showers. So getting a little bit better, though. But I know someone who is fit as a flea and that is Louise Lear. <laughs> Louise, tell us about the weather. <sighs> I don't think so. Running around all the time. I tell you what, 100 years ago we had fog in London and look at this. It's as almost as though we planned it. Yes, it's been a foggy day. A real November morning this morning wasn't it grey and gloomy for many of us really quite damp out there as well with that fog so this was actually across parts of Duncaster but most of central and eastern England had some low cloud and fog which some lingered all day but we did get to see some sunshine there hasn't been much but nevertheless a glorious end to the afternoon imbued in Cornwall thanks Victoria well it's certainly been a misty murky morning we had a lot of mist and fog around poor visibility as well I mean you can just about make out the London eye here in this picture from one of our weather watches but it did improve to end the day with some spells of sunshine but as we look ahead to tonight the story is one of wind and rain now, it was uh, another unseasonably warm weekend, wasn't it? In fact, yesterday saw more records broken. And Becky is here. Becky. That's right. We now have our warmest Remembrance Sunday on record. 21.2 degrees recorded across Mid Wales. It's November, for heaven's sakes. My goodness, that's 10 degrees above the seasonal average. And it's been warm fairly widely across the UK to start a new week. And beautiful as well, as you can see. This is in West Sussex earlier on. And we are seeing fairly widely those gorgeous, uh, gorgeous skies. And across Kent as well, lovely blue skies for you and those warm temperatures feeling almost spring-like but there was fog too and these sheep definitely not enjoying the fog they thought it was a bad start to a new week I had to put that in because Mary does not like my jokes it was also foggy across Westminster as well causing confusion not that there's much change there as you can see lots of uh, mixed fortunes to start a brand new week but the weather is changing let's have a look at what's going on well we're definitely seeing a change in terms of the temperatures previously it's been coming from the south just west of portugal but over the next few days that weather starts coming in from a more seasonal direction and that's from the west it's turning an awful lot cooler as you can see by these blue tones so the weather has been fairly mixed across the UK through today, as you saw with the fog, but also the sunshine as well, and very mild for everyone. Over the next few days, we are expecting a bit of a sea change. We're definitely expecting things to still be mild, but they will start to get cooler as we move over the next few days. Often windy, some heavy rain as well, some brightness in there, but really a much more lively sort of feel to things. So increasingly cool, I think, for the rest of the week. And Friday night, we might even get a frost. What is your garden going to do? It's totally confused. <laughs> Becky, thank you.